Hey everybody, Lee Christie here. Um, I'm going to show you today the four most annoying things, most infuriating things about SolidWorks for beginners. Most be beginners will encounter all four of these problems at some point um, in their in their in the learning cycle. We'll start with the most simple and easiest of them all to resolve that almost everyone runs into. You create a new part. You go in, you create a sketch, and you go in there, and as you're creating the sketch, you work away on it, and then somehow, I don't know how, but somehow you knew how to get out of the sketch, or you accidentally got out of the sketch, or something like that. And then now you're out of the sketch, and you go in and to sketch in smart dimension, and you click on it to dimension it, and you're like, oh, okay, now, well, how do I edit the, oh, maybe I edit it here. Okay, I want to make that 150. Done. Oh, it didn't change to one. Whoa, what is going on here? 116, 150. Okay, that is classic SolidWorks beginner mistake. Trying to edit a dimension when you're not in a sketch. First of all, this isn't AutoCAD. You can't just go down there and type it in in the little dimensioning area or whatever. Okay, that's that's the dimension text area. Second of all get out of there. Just get rid of that. <laughs> You're not going to edit anything from here. You have to go in, click on the feature and edit the feature. In this case, we're editing a sketch, edit sketch. And now we know we're in the sketch because in the top right hand corner, you see the accept sketch and reject sketch buttons. Okay. If those aren't in the top right hand corner, you are not editing a sketch. Okay. Now you can go in and make it you know, 120 or whatever you want to make it. There you go. There's your sketch. You can also exit sketches easily by setting it up um, uh, in your uh, mouse gestures in custom in your custom uh, properties. Uh, go into customizations, change to eight rather than four in your mouse gestures, and there you have it. Okay, now you're out of the sketch. That's the easiest one of all. The next three are a little more subtle. Um, this one here is like everyone I think will agree. This is the most infuriating of them all. If you accidentally hit a certain key, and all of a sudden you see this little funnel thing. That is the dreaded filter symbol, okay? The dreaded filter symbol. If you hit E, if you accidentally hit E or V or X, you will encounter the dreaded filter symbol. Um, if you get it, the way to get rid of it, it's actually pretty easy to get rid of. I mean, it's, it was relatively annoying and difficult to figure out how to get rid of it uh, just by clicking around on things. But as it turns out, if you click F5, uh, you got this little guy down in the bottom left hand corner for me anyway called the selection filter uh, uh, panel um, and in here you got all these different options and one of them up here is clear all filters you click that now your filter is gone okay that's kind of obnoxious and annoying I hate it when that happens literally if you click V you get it um, okay if you click E you get it uh, if you click X you get it okay so that's how people, when people go like control V and they forget to click control or something like that, that's how beginners accidentally turn this filter on. You can turn it off by going clear all filters. Okay, let's get rid of that. I hate the filter thing. I barely ever use it unless I absolutely have to. Um, it can be useful for certain things. So, um, you know, but hey. Um, the other thing you can do is, I think you can also go uh, F6 and that should turn, or sorry, F5 and then F6 should turn it off as well. Yeah, there we go. F5, F6 also turns it off. You don't have to actually click on anything. Um, yeah, all right. So um, yeah, what I was gonna say is that the, that filter thing is so annoying that what I would suggest is actually going in, customize, go into keyboard, okay? Search for filter, go to the V, X, and whatever, go Alt, Shift, V, okay? For this one, go Alt, Shift, E for this one, Alt Shift X. You are much less likely to activate these infuriating feature, uh, these infuriating filters. Okay, that would be probably the most annoying one. The other two are kind of annoying, but they're not like the end of the world. Um, so we put that sketch on the front plane. Let's say we put one on the top plane, and let's say you want to dimension something off of that sketch. Okay, so um, so let's go normal to the surface and start drawing something up. Let's put in some lines. Let's say we want to dimension it to that, you know, to the edge of that guy there, right? And, you know, whatever, we go over and, I don't know, 
let's say we're doing something like that. Okay, make a little box. And you turn it sideways. Oh, okay, well, it's not black for some reason, but okay. Move it around. Oh, that's, that's weird. It's not. Okay, you go back to, you go back to, you know, the normal view or whatever, right? Oh, okay, how do I, how do I make it? Oh, it's not doing the thing I want it to do. So you try, you try control clicking. Okay, make it coincident. Oh, but it's still there. It's not, it's not clicking there. I want it to click there. I want it to snap to the end. Okay, as it turns out, there is a way of doing that. Take it out of planar view. It's very counterintuitive. Select your circle, select your square, or whatever that other thing is. Control click. You're selecting two things at once on that little point. Okay, and now go coincident. Oh, sorry, now go pierce. That's a pierce relation. Bam, look at that. Pierce. Did it. Cool, huh? Drawing's all locked down. All right? Ain't that special? Look at that. There we go. Good to go. All right? All right? All right. There we go, good to go. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this really annoying thing about sketch relations. Um, so what will happen is, for a lot, of, a lot of people don't realize this, but it tries to guess the sketch relations for you. So um, when you draw stuff in, right, you go in and throw in stuff and you snap things around and whatnot, okay? You might think you're doing one thing but it's actually doing another. So in some cases, like this guy, for example, maybe I wanted him to go all the way to the edge there, but it actually snapped tangent to that. So now when I click and drag on this, ah, it's not, ah, duh. oh no, and then it made it bigger, and but I didn't want that to happen. And then you go in and you click on this and make it smaller, and then you go back and you're like, okay, now I'm just gonna click and drag this, to, no! Die! Why are you doing that? Ah! The reason why is because it's added a sketch relation that you didn't want. It added it thinking you wanted it, but you did not want it. You need to be able to recognize symbols in your sketch relations. In fact, there's actually a really cool thing called show sketch relations. Oh, yeah, this is how you do it. Uh, display delete relations. So now you can go, um, you can select everything and it'll show you every single relationship. Midpoint, did you want to do a midpoint? If you didn't, you got one. Horizontal, did you want those horizontal? These are all the things that it guessed that you want. And if, you, if there's something there that you didn't want, you know, go ahead and delete it. Um, okay, so that's, that's a really important thing. And um, just be aware of your, of, your, of your sketch relationships. And when you start sketching things a lot, eventually you will get good at sort of recognizing um, what those sketch relations are and you will gradually get less and less frustrated and things will be less and less infuriating and you will be a happy camper okay much better much better okay so uh, that's pretty much all I have to go over today and hope you like this little uh, little tutorial um, if you like these let me know if you have questions about SolidWorks uh, ask me in the comments. I'd be more than happy to uh, help help you out. Um, if, getting feedback on these videos, I think, would be really great for me because then they give me an idea of um, what I could be doing to make them better, and also to figure out how I could best help people. Um, all right, let me know. Over and out.